These are the most underrated light in any DJ's arsenal. And actually, they're not in a lot of DJ's arsenals, but they should be. Most DJs, I think, think they're just too complicated or too much a pain to deal with. What am I talking about? The pin spot. These have been such a game changer for me, and there's a couple of different varieties, and we're gonna talk about that in a little bit, but I wanna tell you why this is a game changer, okay? Being able to light up decor, light up the head table, light up the bar, any number of things, just to shed a little extra light on things, allows you to use less of the overhead lights in any venue. When you get to do this, that means your photographers and videographers get better images. So one of the things that we have to remember about photo and video, and it's everywhere, right? Everywhere. Social media is all video these days, right? It's not photos, it's video. Your guests are capturing video. Photographers are switching over to capturing video. There's social media content creators at weddings now. These are important things to remember. All video and photo is, is capturing light. So when we can put more light on the things that are likely to attract photos and video, it looks better for them, make us look better, and then as DJs, we always want to get the photos and videos from our photographers and videographers. Sometimes we get them, sometimes we don't. But if we make their life easier, we're gonna get them. Let's get break down pin spots. There's four different types that we see on a regular basis. First, we have the OG, right? This is the Chauvet Easy Pin. A lot of people know this one. They're used to seeing this one. They've seen it in the DJ websites. It's very common. And, you know, it's relatively cheap. I think, you know, it's like 260 for a four pack of these. Then the update to that, which is the Chauvet Easy Pin Zoom, right? Again, battery operated. And let me make a point here. You can get pin spots that are not battery operated. You're wasting your money. Just saying it. Make sure you get batteries. It's 2024, batteries are amazing. Anyways, Xiaobei Easy Pin Zoom has a dial on the top here that we can zoom it, and then the head moves around so we can angle it in different positions. And yes, all of these are remote control operated. No, none of them actually have DMX. And you know what? You don't really need DMX with pin spots. Let's talk about the next one. This has kind of become my workhorse recently. And this is one of the Chinese Direct pin spots. They call it the Bullet. There's a couple of different names, a couple of different vendors that make it. And this is a really cool light. I really like these a lot. One of the cool things about it is it has the ability to set different groups on your remote control. So you can have a whole bunch of these out and set them to different intensities. Super cool, super helpful. And then the Fuel Angle Light. They're all you know, it's kind of similar. They all do sort of the same thing. Now, this one doesn't zoom. I think it has about a five degree beam angle and that's what you get. But this one, this one, and this one all have zooms. They work differently. This one I already showed you rotates. This one has like a slide mechanism to zoom. And then this one has a spin and lock mechanism which can be a little finicky sometimes, but it does work, I promise you. So there's a couple of other differences with pin spots that I think we need to be aware of. They all have different color temperatures. This one is the coldest. So this is probably about 7,000 Kelvin. So it's a very cold colored light. And then the next we have the Easy Pin Zoom. I'm not exactly sure what the color temperature is on this. Uh, I want to say it's in the four to 5,000 range, so it's a little bit warmer, and warm is good. The Chinese Direct pin spots, these are, I'm guessing they're probably around 3,600 to 4,000, like they're a little bit warmer. And then the angle lights are very warm, and these are probably somewhere around uh, the two, the high 2000s. So they're a pretty warm, old school light bulb, kind of warm color. Why does this matter? I think warm color is just more pleasing to the eye. There's times where we do want a cold, harsh light, but the Easy Pin, the original, you know, Chauvet Easy Pin is pretty cold and it's pretty harsh. So if I were in the market for these today, I would tell you to stick with these guys. And if you have the money, stick with these. Now, one of the things that we also have to remember is the 
brightness of these lights. So I'm going to turn off my studio lights here for a second, and we're going to go through each of these lights in a slightly unscientific way and show you how bright each one of them is. Stand by. All right, before I turn off the studio lights, uh, let me show you this. This is a light meter, right? So this is what I've been using to try to figure out how bright my lights are actually are. Uh, because if you look at the manufacturers, they will give you all sorts of numbers. Sometimes they're in lux. Sometimes they're in lumens. Sometimes they're in like various other strange measurements. It's super inconsistent. And just like the speaker manufacturers, they just put out whatever looks like the biggest and best number. So sometimes you got to do it yourself. All right. Now, let me cut off these studio lights and let's measure the brightness of these. I'm going to give you the super unflattering angle right now. And we're going to measure how bright each one of these lights is. So, got my light meter here. I'm gonna get up into this hot spot. All right, and then I'm gonna make sure I get the max reading that I can get from it. This is the regular Chave Easy Pin. It's super cold. We are at 10,700 lux on that. Let's take a look at the Easy Pin Zoom. Let's get it to get the max reading we can get. Let's see, our max reading on this one, 9,000. Uh, 253 lux at five degrees. Next is the bullet light. I think we have it. So for the bullet light, we are at 6,766 lux. Fuel angle light. Let's get this. All right, we got the light meter set up. Fuel spot. We are at 12,200 lux. Surprisingly, and I actually wasn't aware of this, at five degrees, that easy pin zoom is brighter than this guy. I want to test one more thing while I still have the studio lights out, and that is I want to see what it is at a widespread. So I've zoomed out this guy here, and we're going to give this a shot to see what it looks like. Ooh, it's like I'm telling ghost stories. At the zoom out... Probably somewhere around 15 to 20 degrees. I'm going to try to replicate that angle with the easy pin zoom as well and see where our brightness is at. We are at, let's take a look here. Bring the angle back. There we go. We are at 1,573 lux at probably around 15 to 20 degrees. All right, so I've dialed it into a comparable zoom here. So let's give this a shot. So on that... On that angle, we have 1,764. Kind of comparable to what the other pin spot was at the same beam angle. So interestingly enough, this plays into the optics of the light. And optics are super important because that's really going to make the light look good and determine how well it spreads and what the light looks like. Now, we've got the fuel spot angled out similarly to... All of our other zooms. All right, we've got it. All right, the brightness on its zoomed out range, right around that 20 degree mark, is 1,851 lux. Let's break down what this all means. All right, so I found this data kind of interesting. I'm just looking at my notes here, and the easy pin angle light are the two brightest when you make them a pin spot. So if you're like looking to do a disco ball, those are really good. They're gonna give you that really tight, bright beam. The bullet pin was actually one that I was a little surprised about as to what its pin spot numbers were at 6,000 lux, give or take. But interesting to, thing to note is that easy, easy pin zoom, the bullet pin, and the angle light, when they're spread, they are all just about the same amount of lux. So very interesting there. I think the real difference was the color temperature on those. Which one of these lights is right for you? Well, that's really a question for you and your budget and what you want your look to be. The thing that I really like about all of these lights is they all have magnets on them. They're all magnetic base. Now, kind of getting into the magnet, you can stick them to a lot of things and sometimes you can stick them on places you didn't think you could stick them. Yes, I know what I just said. No pun intended. However, the magnets on them, you do need to be careful with. The easy pins, both the original and the easy pin zoom, the magnets are not nearly as strong as they are on the angle light and the bullet pin. I would say that the angle light and the bullet pin magnets are just about the same strength. They're very, very strong magnets. 
the Easy Pin Zoom magnet is definitely stronger than the old school Easy Pin magnet. But with those magnets, you can stick them to a drop ceiling. If you're in an industrial space that has lots of metal, which are my favorite kind of venues to work in, you can stick them to beams, stick them to pillars, all kinds of stuff. They're really, really versatile. If you're a DJ, I hope you found this really helpful in kind of understanding pin spots a little bit. You know, for me, one of the main things that I use them for is I use them to light up florals. I'll use them to light up the sweetheart table. Just this past weekend, we had to move a ceremony from outside to inside and we didn't have some great lighting in there. I was able to use buy pin spots to light up the ceremony location, light up the florals around it so that it looked good and presentable and looked good on camera. So there's lots of things that we can use these for. I've even used these as an uplight. They're really, really unique and they're very versatile. You can do some great stuff with them. You should be adding these to your arsenal for sure. They're worth the investment and they will get you more work. I promise you. So let me know what you think in the comments. Are you using them? Are you interested in using them? Do you hate them? Tell me why. I'd love to know. And uh, check out this video to learn more about lighting.